Hello, this is Bo Kaufman, Remax Performance Realty, your residential real estate agent in Winnipeg, able to look after you when you're looking to buy a house or a condo in Winnipeg. And one of the most common questions home buyers have in Winnipeg is closing costs. What are closing costs and how much should I budget for them? So let's, let's uh, understand, first of all, what closing costs are. They are the legal expenses, house taxes, land titles, transfer taxes, home insurance, everything that you have to pay on top of the price of the house. Uh, and most banks and financial institutions will tell you to budget roughly about 2% of the price of the house. So if your house is going to be worth $300,000 or condo, then you should have about $6,000 roughly set aside for the closing cost. Now, this is not the down payment. This is not the deposit check, but these are the extra fees you have to pay on top. So let's take a look at what they are. Um, legal expenses. Now, your basic legal fees for purchasing a home uh, or a condo in Winnipeg are going to run you around $900. Now, a lot of lawyers will quote you over the phone something like $399 or $449, but that's the basic fee, and the fine print will always say plus disbursements. Uh, for example, if you have to register the mortgage, if you are getting a mortgage, they have to register it with land titles, and that costs anywhere between $150 and $200. So by the time it's all said and done, I, I like to err on the side of caution, um, have about $900 budgeted for that. Next is going to be the house taxes. Now, depending on when you purchase the house, you either might have to pay a few months right ahead of time, or you might actually get a refund, depending on when you're buying it. Uh, but you should also have some money set aside for that. Uh, and it's best to talk to your real estate agent at the time you're making the offer because uh, house taxes vary greatly between house to house. And again, if you're buying it in April uh, and you're taking possession in April, you might actually get a bit of a refund because then come June, you're going to have to pay the whole year. So if you're taking possession April 1st, you're going to get about three months worth of refund because the seller has lived in the house for January, February, and March, and you're going to have to pay in June for the entire year. Well, you shouldn't have to pay for the three months that he's been living there. So again, it's a tough one to nail down in an audio podcast, but house taxes, you have to budget for them. Now, the big one is going to be the land titles transfer tax. In Manitoba, that's a real beauty. The uh, real estate industry has been fighting this for, for decades. Uh, me, personally, I don't think we're going to get anywhere. The government is just quite happy to keep uh, taking our money. But to give you some example, a baseline would be a house that's $200,000 is going to cost the buyer a one-time fee of $1,720. And every dollar above that 200000 there's a 2% addition. So that, for example, a $300,000 house will cost you an extra 2000 on top, making it 3720 And of course, if you get into the four, five, and $600,000 houses, now you're starting to talk some real money that you have to pay. Now, this is just a one-time fee at the time that you're taking possession. And the last one we're going to talk about is home insurance. And this is kind of where condos and houses do have a, a bit of a difference. Uh, and that is when you're buying a house, you have to insure the whole property. Usually when you buy a condo, you only have to insure your upgrades and your contents. So a house, depending on what insurance company you go with and depending on the value of the house, you should budget between 500 and 1000 uh, Again, if you have a, a much more expensive house, you could be looking well in addition to that. And a condo, you're less than half of what a house is because you're only insuring, like I said, the upgrades and the contents. Uh, aside from the insurance, all the other costs are virtually identical, whether you're buying a house or a condo. Land titles transfer tax is the same across the board for a house and a condo. Um, taxes, actually, uh, the tax rate for condos is the same as for houses. So I hope this helps a little bit. Uh, if you're looking to buy or sell a house in Winnipeg, or a condo, call Bo Kaufman, Remax Performance Realty. My direct cell number is 204-333-2202. Till next time, bye-bye. <laughs>